Well, this uh, site that we're looking at today is in the Thickwood Uplands and uh, under Aspen Forest. And so the trees that you see here, uh, the larger trees, are, as far as I can see, they're, they're all aspen trees. Uh, not quite as tall and as uh, straight and as uh, large, you know, as good a trees as we see further north, but still they're aspen trees. People often tell a lot about the, uh, the, the quality of a site or the moistness of the site and other uh, characteristics of sites from some, from some of the uh, understory vegetation. Here, one of the species that I noticed right away was this uh, species here, Canada buffaloberry which is a, a species that's often found uh, or, uh, in, the, in the southern part of the Aspen Forest. And actually it's a species that was reported by the paleobotanists to have occurred in some of the first forests that uh, occupied this area uh, soon after deglaciation. An open spruce forest with an understory uh, made up supposedly uh, mainly of, uh, of Canada buffaloberry. Some of the other species here that are, uh, are uh, important, this perhaps isn't a good example, but it is a Saskatoon. There are a lot of Saskatoons here in the, in the lower part of the, in the understory vegetation. And if we look a little closer to the ground, which we, uh, there's, there's quite a rich variety of grasses and also uh, several uh, uh, lupins and vetches, I believe. Uh, so there, there's a, quite a rich uh, uh, understory vegetation here. One of the reasons I think that this is a, you know, a fairly fertile site.